Hi, um, I'm Erin Sparler from iConnect Crafts, and this is Jean from Charmed, I'm Sure Studio. We're here today, and we're going to show you how to put together your totem poppets using 1 16th inch eyelets and the 1 16th eyelet setters from Fiskars. So uh, let's get started, quick and easy. So I have here our duck totem poppets, and they're really easy to put together. The very first thing is you want to take your pieces and you want to lay them out on your surface and decide which direction your animal is going to go to. I think I want him facing to the left today. So I would just flip over his pieces and, and decide that. Now you should use some kind of protective surface. The reason is, is these little eyelets will leave an indent in your work surface. So definitely protect your work surface. My other suggestion or my other tip is that if you're going to stamp or gesso or paint your duck, you should probably do it first. And the reason for that is, is that it keeps your beautiful little brass eyelets clean and then your duck can move a lot easier. I'm going to put my duck actually on the table here to gesso him real quick. So we'll give him a little squirt of gesso here, a little gob there and there. So I'm going to hit it with the heat gun real quick to dry it. All right, so now I'm just going to use a little bit of the brown dabber and I'm going to dab on some brown. And I'm actually allowing the dabber to kind of uh, not completely cover it because I'm going to add some orange as well. I'm going to actually put it on the craft mat here, and then I'm going to use a small brush, a small paint brush to just kind of dab this into the brown so that you get kind of a modeling effect. There are, you have it. Now I'll hit it with the heat gun again. Okay, so now that he is done, he's painted, that was all of two minutes, I have some eyelets um, poured out. A great tip with your eyelets here is we like the um, Fisker eyelet setters. And we tried a couple different setters. Fisker sells these sets of three here. And each one is labeled on the orange part with the size 316. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 18. And they have a 116. So here's what I suggest with the eyelets. Instead of trying to hold them and hold the pieces together, is set them shaft up on your surface. Flip your main piece on top. Now, I do have a decision here to make. Do I want the head to be on top or behind? Hmm. So I want him his head to be on top. So I'm going to put his head on first. So here's my eyelet. I just put the head on the shaft of the eyelet on the chopping block like so. Then flip the body and put it on like that. Now you need to use this little tiny tip right there. You want to make sure you get that little nub in the hole of the eyelet. Hold it solidly and then pull straight up and down. And that's it. Yeah, it A sets up perfect, perfect set. <laughs> and look at that, the head still moves. Now, if you want it tighter, you can give it a second thwack. Um, you can see it did leave a nice, a nice dent in my board. If you do it a second time, it's going to get a little bit tighter, and now see the head doesn't wobble. Okay, so second time, if it does too loose, yeah. just do it the second time, it'll yeah. tighten it up. Good. Yeah. So then I'm going to do the legs. I put an eyelet shaft up, and I put the leg on. Now once again, do I want the legs in front, or do I want the legs in back? I'm going to do one leg in front and one leg in back. Oh, that's cute. So then we put our eyelet, put it here, put our nub in the hole, pull straight up, snap. I'm going to leave it a little loose so I can play with them a little bit more. And one more. All right, this whole time I'm going to put the body down first so that this leg is in back. And then I'll put the leg on second. Like so. Insert the eyelet setter. Aaron, Snap. Aaron, what yeah. if I don't have the eyelets? Can we use something else to join them together? We sure can. And we're going to do a video on that. So there he is. And then um, to add even more interest, I was going to look at putting some 
feathers on him. Oh, that's really cute. I'll just put a dab of glue kind of in the middle here. And I'm going to stick our feather down. And there you have it. One duck totem poppet. And uh, we still have miniature ones that actually have a little wing to go and a big one. So you can do this set comes with two large ones and two small ones so you can create a family. Okay. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us here in Charmed, I'm Sure Studios. And I'm Erin Sparler from iConnect Crafts. And Jean Van Brederode from Charmed, I'm Sure Studio. Excellent. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.